Daryl Bensinger here today uh, from DNL Bensinger and Lida is on the camera today. Today we're going to discuss the quarter ton Jeep trailer. We'll start out with the two military trailers. The first trailer is the MDT World War II style trailer. These trailers were designed for being towed by the Jeep and they were designed to float across streams. For that reason, there is no tailgate. What you've got in this trailer is a solid body with one drain, drain in the back to drain water out of it, and that drain has a, has a uh, rubber plug to close it so that if you're gonna ford across the stream, you can, with the canvas tarp on and the 500 pound weight, ford across the stream. The quarter ton designation is the off-road designation, cross country, and MD1 makes both these trailers. We stock them at the NL Bensers. The next trailer we want to discuss is the M100 trailer. The M100 trailer was used during the Korean era, and the sizes of these two trailers are the same. The M100 has a few additional features that the, that the World War II trailer did. First of all, it has grab handles on the four corners. If you're, if you're moving the trail around or you're getting stuck, you've got grab handles to help get a hold of it. Another, another difference is the floor drains. In the M100 trailer, there are two. One in the front corner and one in the opposite rear corner. Whereas the MBT we previously showed you only had one. Floors and, and, and panels, as I say, are all the same size, just have these minor differences. The other addition that the M100 had were these angle brackets on the front. And these angle brackets were to, to put a box on there, a steel box, in which you could store the cable from the inner vehicle, you know, Jeep back to the trailer when you weren't in use. Uh, the military put those on. They just continued using the box after a short time. Uh, I believe most of the time the reason that was if the Jeep had a radio antenna bracket on it and they turned, they ended up bashing the box. So they gave up on the box and said, well, just put the thing in the, the wire in the trailer. So, so those are the two military trailers from the early era. Now as far as parts go, in addition to selling these complete tubs like this, we also sell the panels if you need to repair a trailer. It's very common for someone to have cut a tailgate in these trailers because they thought they were handier and they weren't going to be fording them after they're using them on their farm or their ranch. So we offer the, the panel, the, as we mentioned earlier, the sizes are the same. So we offer one panel the front panel, the rear panel, on either of these trailers would be the same with the only minor exceptions of adding this other rope hook if you're going to use it in the front panel or if you actually wanted to put the brackets on for the box in that one. So we offer, we offer a panel for replacing the front or the rear. We also offer a floor. As I mentioned earlier, the floors are no difference in size. The only difference is you've got one drain hole in the early trailer and you've got two drain holes in the later trailer. And that's your two early military trailers, the MBT and the M100. Next, we'll move on to the civilian trailer. Okay, now we'll discuss the T3C trailer, C being the civilian trailer. After World War II, they went, at the, they went ahead and built the civilian trailer. Again, the trailer is the same size as the other two military trailers. However, to make it more usable on the ranch or the farm or so, they have gone ahead and added a tailgate. So now you've got a tailgate in here, and when we sell our body kits, we include a tailgate, as you see here. And since it's a tailgate, there's no need for drain plugs in the floor anymore. Again, the floor is still the same size as the other two trailers. They also added pockets in order to put more of a bow assembly on it. Uh, on your military trailers, all they wanted to do was put a canvas tarp straight over the thing. Your civilian trailer, you actually could get wooden bows that brought the canvas up almost like a covered wagon stop. Now the CT3C rear floor, the, the lip for this end of this panel bends down because you've got a tailgate here, whereas on the military trailers, that lip bent up and was welded to the rear panel. But again, it's the same size dimensionally as the other two floors. The only difference you find is the way this is bent and whether or not it has a drain plug. So if you're repairing a trailer, you could you know, theoretically use either of them. 
The other addition was the early civilian trailers did not have this reinforcement panel here. They simply had the tailgate cut open. Well, that, that, that was a weak point. It allowed the sides to want to bend out. So they did a nice job of designing this panel, giving this structure so it just doesn't bend out, and then they incorporated the location for tail light in. So your civilian trailer has that nice reinforcement. Again, as far as uh, uh, repair parts, we do offer these panels by themselves, and we offer the floor, the front panel, and the tailgate as a loose item. So that's the, that's the three bodies of the early trailers. And if you're looking for a body to free trailer, repair one, or you want to want to build a complete trailer, we've got those kind of parts. We'll go on now and get stuff some of the pieces. Okay. Okay. Quarter ton trailer frames. The quarter ton trailer frames, as you see here, are also available reproduction. The, the frame. The frame will fit on either the, either the World War II trailer, MBT, it will also fit on the, the M100 or the T3C. There were minor variations in the frames as far as, you know, collectability, uh, if you want to go that route, but uh, basically they're all fixed. The, the civilian trailer did not have shocks, you've got a shock bracket here, the, uh, the World War II trailer had a location for a blackout light switch on the side, which if you want to make it original, you can drill that in. It's not a problem. But we do offer one frame that works on all three of them. In addition to that, component parts, we offer the rear cross member as a separate item. We do offer the shock brackets as separate items. And we also offer the front V frame rails as separate items because we find it sometimes in the old trailers they get bent. Uh, other than that, take a look at our website and you can see the trailer frames for sale. Some additional parts for your trailer project. Uh, we offer the fender. The three trailers that we showed you here this morning are all take the round fender. And this is, the, this is your fender. We have that as a reproduction item. Also, your front drawbar casting. The net eye, which goes into drawbar casting, the safety chain, the casting for the for the front support leg, the support leg itself. Also, some additional hardware and stuff that we offer, and you can check all those on our website if you're looking for something in particular. Then, in addition to that, you're going to need some wheels for your trailer. We also offer the combat wheel for the World War II trailers. That, that bolts together as the same as what the Jeep has because as you notice there's no spare tire carriers on trailers. Trailers were, were expected to use the spare off of the vehicle that was towing them, which in this case was either your CJ2A or you know your World War II trailer depending which of these which of these uh, trailers you've got. We move on to the solid wheel. This is a solid disc wheel here and Early MBs, 42, somewhere in that neighborhood early, ran with the solid wheel. The CJ2A civilian Jeep also used the solid wheel in its early production, and we also offer that. And then finally, the later CJ2As and many of your other civilian Jeeps thereafter used the wheel that has slots in it, you know, the slotted wheel. So if you're building a trailer you want to match the wheels to the Jeep you've got, that's also possible. So basically, if you're repairing an old trailer, a quarter ton trailer, or you want to build a new trailer, you can pretty much get all the repair parts you need, or you can actually build one from scratch. If you want to build a new trailer to make into a camper or to use with your modern Jeep, you know, you can, you can build the thing completely out of parts. The only thing that I'll finish with here is that we have looked at the early trailers, the World War II trailer, the Korean Air trailer, and the civilian trailer just after the World War II. And the next trailer after this would be the M416 with the Vietnam Air. These parts we've shown you today 
are very common to these three trailers we've shown you, but they do not fit on the 416. The 416 trailer is a little bit bigger, and it's a completely different trailer in, in, in parts, the panels, the body is a little bigger, so uh, we're going to move on to that probably at a later date, but at this present time, these parts don't confuse them with the 416 military trailer used, you know, from the Vietnam era up almost to the present. If you're looking for any of these parts, you want to build a trailer, you know, look at our website, dnlbenseer.com, or give us a call or an email. Thank you.